Hello, everybody. Welcome to today's album review. Now, Brett, you may remember not very long ago, we reviewed an album from Big Time Rush. They were, mm-hmm. I think they were on Nickelodeon, was it? That's one, yeah. Didn't know about that. Now, with my terrible memory, I can't remember if we liked that album or not. <laughs> Can you refresh? I remember I liked one or two particular songs that I thought I was going to put onto a playlist. I think it's certain something where it was, I think it was in the middle of the road. I think it was okay. I mean, we absolutely loved it, but we weren't too bothered about it. We had listened to it, I guess. <laughs> Sounds about what we say for most things, I guess. Okay, let's have a look at the request then. So this has come through from Drum Master, who asked us to review that previous album of uh, Big Time Rush, Another Life. So he says, nice review, guys. Also, you guys are right. The chorus of I Just Want to Party, Party All the Time is originally from Eddie Murphy's Party All the Time. Yeah. If you want to review their albums when they started, I think a good place to start will be their third album, 24-7. And he doesn't explain why why we should start from their third album, but that's what we're going to do. So um, the album is here on Wikipedia. It's from 2013. The album experiments with a dance rock and R&B sound um, which is quite interesting so um, musically 24-7 makes a shift on the band's signature sound showcasing a more mature organic and down to earth pop direction than their previous two albums but we we listened the album we listened to is, was after yeah 10 uh, years later wasn't it yeah 10 <laughs> years later yeah um They'd already so, retired and come back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So we won't read all this, won't bore everybody with this. We can read this in our own time. Um, but I've decided we're going to listen to the full deluxe edition. There are a lot of tracks there, 15, but in terms of length, it's still not very long because the, without the bonus tracks, it's only 32 and a half, well, almost 33 minutes. But with the bonus tracks, it's still under 50 minutes, which I think is reasonable. Um, so yeah, these are the tracks. It's the it's the deluxe fifteen track version. We're going for um, "Lost in Love" fakes it features Jake Miller. I don't know who he is. Um, he looks like he's a rapper. Um, we have another track featuring Carmen. Don't know who they are. Um, so yeah, well, listen, we'll see how it goes. Um, I just like the fact it's it's, it's pop. It's it's not going to be anything too out there. I'm not, not going to hate it. I'm sure of that. Pop R and B dance pop can't go too wrong. I don't think. <laughs> what about you? What are you thinking? Yeah, same as you there. Obviously attracted by the, the genre there. Um, and I said, I think did definitely enjoy quite a few of their tracks um, beforehand when we listened to them last time. So they've already got a bar set, I suppose. Um, interesting to go through the deluxe, but uh, Terry totally agree with what you're saying there. I think it doesn't add too much more into that one there. And there could be a couple of hidden gems from that one there. So as I said, yeah, bar's been set. Let's see what they can bring with this one here and their more youthful selves. Yeah, so we're going to head off and listen to it and we'll be we'll let you know exactly how what we thought of it in just a sec. See you very shortly. Right, so we've now listened to the album and we're going to start talking a load of nonsense about it now as we always do. Absolutely. Yeah. Stage. Um so just just ignore us whatever we say is a load of, <laughs> a load of cods wallop. I don't know what we're talking about. Well, I certainly don't. Um the track one is 24-7, which is the name of the, the album as well. So I thought it's got going from the start, you know, very lively, upbeat. It, to me, it came across as feeling very cheesy pop. Um, I suppose that kind of, the pop music we don't really hear these days, like even though this song was, or the album is from 2013, it felt more like a bit of a throwback not as far back as the 90s but kind of the early noughties that kind of period 
Um, yeah, very positive, upbeat kind of song. And I could imagine really liking this as a kid. I know this wasn't out when I was a kid, but if it had been, probably the sort of song I'd probably really like. Um, maybe lacking sophistication now at my at my age um, for me, but it's a good, fun song, and I, and I liked it. Um, yeah, I think good, fun song is sort of probably the theme I'm going to end up with a lot of these tracks. But that's exactly what it is, and I think you're... I know we joked there about waffling on and stuff there, but actually for your uh, little review of that first song was actually quite comprehensive and sums up quite well, really. I've got the same sort of thing, you know, really poppy. Um, and yeah, a good sort of throwback to sort of that sort of, yeah, I was going to say more sort of mid to late noughties, which I know is not far from where it was sort of released, but that sort of thing in terms of pop music. I, I have to admit, I made a little mistake because I kind of forgot, because I put a comment here about them... Um, sounding a lot younger than they probably are. Um, and what I meant by that is because I thought this was a, one of their later albums, which it was, but this was still 10 years before that last album that we did of theirs. So I imagine these sort of older guys really doing, but actually they still would have been 10 years younger. So um, made a little um, mistake on that one there. But yeah, a good little, fun song. A, a, little, a little boo-boo. A little boo-boo um, on this one and, and probably with the next one. So yeah, apologies for that one there. Definitely sort of a One Direction feel I've put um, through through this one here. But as you said, yeah, probably lacking that sort of something, maybe sophisticated for sort of actually there. But yeah, so we had sort of the clappy hands bit in the middle to get you all started. Really toe tappy, uh, really almost catchy like from the start. Yeah, good, fun song. And you may, if you're doing a drinking game, that may be a word you want to try and avoid, I think. Okay. Next track was Like Nobody's Around. So I like the start of this song. I also like, the, I suppose, the switch up between the singers. Different singers came on to different parts. So I thought there's a few different elements of this song, and I liked it. This one also gets the thumbs up from me. Two out two for them for so far for you. Great. Um, so I put here, yeah, this is sort of slowed down a little bit, but really, when I say that, it's still not not a slow song, so just in comparison to... Um, the first one, but the same thing, like good fun, uh, very boy bandish, which I know they are, but like, it just has that real sort of feel, old school boy band sort of feel, sorry, I should have said, um, but obviously feeling a bit more modern. Um, like you, I actually really like the singing in this one. I actually say something a little bit later on that might contradict that a tiny bit, uh, but the chorus especially, um, if one of the guys is singing, really, really good. Uh, the chorus is almost sort of catchy, I'd say. Um, and again, it just has that sort of clasping, sort of good feel, sort of bit, sort of in the middle. Um, and as we get towards the end, really enjoyed it more, sort of by the end. So yeah, another good, good track. Track three was Get Up, and I just put awful start. It was just shouty. They were just shouting that part of Get Up or something. Um, but a few seconds later, it suddenly got much better. I quite like the sound of this, the whole song in general, but just not wasn't so keen on the shouty Get Up chorus part. I really like the instrumentals in this song. Really nice. And the build up to the chorus was good. It was just the chorus for me that lets it down. But despite that, I still think it was a pretty good song overall and it would still get the thumbs up from me. Um, again, I still have some really feeling sort of a one direction kind of feel of this one here. Again, my bodies, I put the quote where they, why they, <laughs> if they're so much older, why this thing is so like, it seems like a younger kind of thing. But like I said, I've, I've put that to one side. Um, again, another good sort of fun song. I got the bit, yeah, we just sort of repeating the get up. And I think that's what stirred me in terms of this sort of, yeah, why are they kind of doing it when they're sort of older when actually they're not. Um, but yeah, otherwise a good fun song, another good one for the album. Track four was Song For You featuring Carmen. So I like the sound of this one too. It sounded very promising. It's a, and it's just turned out to be a really good, lively song. And then towards the end, I well. Oh, it's just got better with the rapper coming. I'm like, um, so it, it turned a, a decent song into a really good song. So I thought I'm really enjoying this. And even though she she played a really small part in the song, like right near the end, like I don't know, one or two lines, it was almost nothing. It was very, it was very little. It, it, I just felt that was actually very effective, and I really liked it. And I didn't know who Carmen was. I checked coming out afterwards and it turns out it's actually a duo like a man and a woman together um they don't they know yeah they, they changed into a 
they're no longer called Carmen. They've changed this to a different name or something. Um, but yeah, we had a little bit of rap, and that was lovely, a lovely addition to the song. Another thumbs up. Four out of four. Four out of four. four, out of four. Yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, I, I won't say much more now because you saw something there. But yeah, it's, it's a case of that the, when the female rapper came in, yeah, definitely transformed the song. And I said it was for me. I know you say obviously quite like, but I felt maybe actually I would have liked to have more in that. But I do get where you just probably had a little bit, just enough to mix it up there. I actually even wrote your name here, a little heart sign next to it, question mark, whether you would uh, enjoy that bit. Um, I definitely did. I would have liked to see more. But could this also? I give it too much away later on, be a bit of a downfall in terms of what maybe some of the other songs may have been missing. Well, we have to, if you are still listening, wait and see. Okay. Track five was Run Wild. This sounds interesting. I quite like this as well. The feel good feeling continues from the previous songs. This song has various different paces to it. It kind of speeds up in parts, slows down in other parts. And I like, again, the, the different singers getting involved, doing their bits. So it's another thumbs up from me, five out of five. Um, yeah, again, it's sort of more on the slower pace side of things. Again, not, not that slow. Um, really fantastic sound, sort of, or, sorry, futuristic sound, shall I say, coming through this one here. It's still having that cheesy pop boy band kind of feel. We have this sort of like, as you said, different tempos. We had a sort of slow build up and yeah, had different tempos, which was made a nice change. Because I feel like some of the others have been very much of the same. When we've mixed it up a little bit here, it does, does show a little bit. Um, and again, we sort of have, I've been here, the classic boy band kind of thing where some point in the middle, we have one of the members, normally the strongest singer, shall we say, doing a, I want to say a solo bit that has one bit sort of focus on them um, and then the band sort of harmonising back in towards the end there. So again, a good fun song on the album. So track six was Crazy For You. This song feels a bit different, I think, mainly because of the instrumentals and just in general the song isn't as lively and upbeat. It was kind of more, felt more one-paced. And I think as a result of that, well, I'll put it's not bad, but... If as a result of that, it's the worst song so far from me, and this one does not get a thumbs up. Oh, wow. So really strangely, um, this gets an extra thumbs up for me. I actually quite liked um, this one. Um, I think like it has this sort of kind of party vibe thing there. And I think what maybe attracts me to me a bit more, for some reason, maybe because of the title as well and the sort of the lyrics, it felt that almost early noughties late 90s kind of classic real classic boy band that you're probably quite into from there just with the thing just all sort of crazy like even just the term you know crazy for you like you wouldn't hear any nowadays sort of using that as a term would you it kind of doesn't really sort of make sense some way so i found it more probably for a more nostalgic reason um but um yeah so actually it gets a, a little extra thumbs up um for me as well as sort of having that sort of boy band good swaying and good happy feeling to it right track seven then is picture this so we're back to the upbeat style that we'd had previously but i don't know for some reason i wasn't enjoying this one as much as the first five songs it's okay but just lacking i put here maybe it's not the best bit of a lazy explanation lacking the quality of the previous songs i don't think it was that but i, don't know, I couldn't really pinpoint it maybe there wasn't so much of the different singers getting involved for whatever reason i didn't like this song as much um yeah i, I kind of probably know where you're coming from i might end up touching it a little bit later on. i don't think about that stage where you probably are right now um again i've just put real classic sort of 1d one direction vibes with this one it still has all this sort of classic boy band kind of thing really poppy really cheesy catchy enjoyable a little bit sort of a disco sort of vibe, almost like you can imagine being at a wedding in a disco. That's the sort of thing that would um, come on. And it kind of sort of touches on a little bit. Um, I haven't really sound, but maybe we said we like the first track where you kind of imagine a younger version. Myself probably quite enjoying um, that one, or even like younger, really sort of enjoying that song. Right. So track eight is Confetti Falling. So I did like the start of this. I thought it's a decent enough upbeat song. So I kind of took my time with this one to try to really understand my feelings. And I put, after careful consideration, this is 
This is of the same caliber of the first five songs. So it gets a thumbs up from me. Okay. Okay, very well um, <laughs> written down there. Um, yeah, this probably will get a full double thumbs up um, from me. Um, for me, this is probably one of my more favorite tracks um, on the album. Um, and I can't say why in comparison to the others because <laughs> it is the same as like those first few tracks. Cheesy, poppy, good fun song, classic boy band kind of structure. We've been saying before, you know, a little bit, a good catchy sort of chorus. A parts where we've got one main singer sort of singing that little bit um, on his own and then all harmonising together. One you kind of want to dance and clap to. Um, so yeah, really put a smile on face on this one. And um, yeah, one of my more favourite ones on the album. All right, so track nine is amazing. So this sounds like another good song. And overall, it was a nice, simple pop song. And then we had a little a solo part with one of the singers with a good build up. And again, it was a thumbs up from me. Good. So this is where things maybe start to change a little bit for me. So with the previous probably albums were maybe, say, a bit repetitive. So even though it's stuff I'm really liking, I am still then struggling to find different things to say because the songs are <laughs> as good as I am probably enjoying them. They and, and they do different in, in parts in a way, but otherwise it's the same thing. It's a really nice, good, poppy, boy band um, kind of song. Uh, a little bit the same as the other ones there. I feel like I'm enjoying it. Don't know what more I can sort of write from here. Um, and you might find that might be a common thing I start <laughs> putting down from there. I will add a couple of other things as we go on. But um, yeah, so I guess still a good song. But um, You're yeah, getting a bit bored, bored of it by now, basically. Yeah, it's, it's hard to say bored because I said I was, not to give away from that, but I was enjoying it and stuff. But um, in terms of being creative, in terms of what to write, what to explain, how to explain the song is probably where I was sort of lacking a little bit. Track 10 was We Are. So uh, this feels very different because it was slow at the beginning. Now it's sped up now and it's become a full, you know, normal kind of <laughs> pace song for them. But I quite like this at the start of this. I just felt the song has a slightly different vibe to it than a lot of the others. And I really like the We Are bit, which was quite repetitive, but it was actually quite effective. And again, it's another thumbs up from me. Yeah, totally get that. I've just said for opening life, but here, could this be a slow ballad song, question mark? No. Um, <laughs> it didn't last long, and obviously went into their classic, comfortable, um, upbeat, fun, enjoyable boy band um, sort of song. Um, but again, I, really positive, really fun, and that's like with a lot of the songs um, there. So again, it's hard to dislike it or really badly criticise it. Um, it's good fun, but um, yeah, not much more different, I can say. Track 11, L- Love Me Again. This one had an interesting start to it because I think I, the, the thing that struck me with this one was the the music. It was it had a dance feel to it. And I was like, um, oh, I like the sound of this now, now that the singing has started. Because I wasn't sure with the actual instrumental, the sort of the sound, the music. It was only when the singing started, I was like, actually, this sounds pretty good. Felt very upbeat. I mean, it felt a little bit messy, like kind of all over the place, different sounds going on. Couldn't quite make out what it was trying to be. So I'm not really sure about the need for the techno style sort of background music. Um, I'm not sure it really fitted, but um, it's not particularly even prevalent, to be honest, as the song went on and I didn't have anything against it. Um, and overall, it's a very good song. Yet again, there's a thumbs up from me. Yeah, and um, so we probably should have added, so this is now obviously coming to more to the deluxe part, so the tr- previous track would have been probably the end of the original one. Um, so once I heard it, it's all what you're saying there, so I've put the term here like, it almost feels like a remix song, and I had to check the title just to make sure we hadn't already had it again if these were just remix or changes of the previous songs, and they weren't, they're all, all um, original songs that we're going to be doing through here. But yeah, definitely having that remix, feel, which I kind of liked and I said it kind of sort of changed it up but then as you quite rightly said you kind of forgot that it kind of almost blended in back to the new and by the end of it I felt like it's just another good pleasant nice enjoyable good boy band song so yeah kind of shame that we didn't have that sort of bit more dancey remix to mix things up um a little bit track track 
Oh, I can't say this. Track 12, <laughs> just just getting started. Yeah, I'm not sure about this one. doesn't seem as enjoyable as most of the others. It has the same sort of vibe as a lot of the other songs, but it's not bad. It's just not one of my favourites. Maybe it doesn't have that same feel-good factor some of the others have in terms of meaning, because I think like with the others, well, generally this album, they're kind of very upbeat, lively, fun songs. Um, but yeah, I don't know with this one. It was all right, but not... Not one of my favourites. Um, yeah, this is one where I really haven't got a lot to say either. And it's, I think, again, like I said, it, it's very much the same as what we had before. Um, we had sort of a different kind of sort of started, but then by the time we got into it, it was then sort of the classic stuff in here, repeating, <laughs> repeat, see above, boy band classic stuff. Good, um, fun, enjoyable. Uh, bring on the next song. So track 13, Unlucky for Some, was Untouchable. So, again, various different singers doing their own part, which I liked. I'd say this song wasn't as upbeat as a lot of the others, but it's still decent, though. and I'd still give it a thumbs up. Yeah, I've written here, this one feels a bit different, but again, haven't been able to really differentiate and how is the case there. I think by the time it gets to the end of it, trouble is it kind of sort of merges back as their classic safe sort of style from there, but it definitely did have something about it from there. I found that like the background music um, sounded really familiar, and I've kind of put a little side note. It'd be good if there would be a website where you can have a list of songs and they can see what has been sampled from it, because I said I couldn't help but hear something else from there. I'm sure it, it may have been not like a full sample, but maybe just even just a tiny bit of the sample. So it'd be interesting to know what it is, and that's where my mind ended up <laughs> focusing more, because otherwise, again, it was... a, a Again, nice, good, fun, enjoyable, nice song. Um, but I have put a tiny little bit of a smiley face across myself. I think this one towards the end is probably the better ones of this still final third, uh, final third or final quarter of the songs we're listening to. So track 14, Lost in Love, featuring Jake Miller. So actually, I did a bit of research on Jake Miller, I think just as the song was coming on. And he, I found out that he's a rapper. So I was like, oh, sort of rubbing my hands with glee. Um, this is a nice song, not as upbeat as a lot of the others, but it's nice. And I'm looking forward to Jake Miller rapping. So I was waiting for him, waiting for him. And eventually he turned up. Here comes Jake. Mm -hmm. Even even announced himself as well. Um, I, I preferred the rapping in the the other song with the, with the other rapper, the female rapper. But it, despite that, it still added something to the song. Um, so it was a decent enough song and I'd still give it a thumbs up. Yeah, um, yeah, I think the only thing we talk about is about Jake Miller. Was he going to turn up? Eventually he said he did. And when he did, I didn't time it. I guesstimate about 30 seconds, um, if that. And you could probably question, I mean, you're more of the rap uh, fan here in terms of rapping. It almost was just a little bit fasting, uh, faster mm -hmm. singing than what the normal boys were doing. But still a really welcomed um, addition to it. A bit like with the previous song of Kazmin here, it, it really, it really sort of elevated the song um, enough for me. And it's a shame that there wasn't more of it. So I appreciate it was there and I think it did work really well. Um, it's a shame it did more and it kind of maybe made me think differently about the whole album as a whole in the end. So the last track was Na Na Na. So up to this point, I haven't compared big time rush to any other um group i know you've been comparing them a lot to one direction but here's one for you with this well with this particular song only this song s club seven <laughs> i don't know how s club seven feel to it with it. Nah, 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 but it just felt very s club like maybe even s club juniors <laughs> um <laughs> It, it just yeah this one felt quite different to the others in some ways the, the na 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 part kind of actually felt like a nice way to end the album it was kind of like a, i don't know a natural ending somehow no 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 i can't remember what heck is the exact way it was sung but yeah, i don't know it was yeah not not really too much to say about this but it was all right yeah, this is probably the closest to something maybe a little bit different to the others. At the same time, though, not that much different. Um, I didn't write S Club 7, but um, I totally would 100% endorse and agree with that comment um, a, as well. Again, the background tune felt very familiar um, as well. So again, one for some points, that's why I felt like it. Doing it. And yeah, it had this sort of 
what I call like a, a really simple classic sort of clapping beat that you can sort of clap along to. The sort of again, I can't repeat the sort of exactly how the na na na's went, but again, whilst listening to it, it just felt very repetitive and sort of stuck in your head kind of thing. And again, listen to it with a big smile on my face. And yeah, but this one, yeah, definitely felt um, maybe a little bit younger um, in terms of its audience compared to the others. I mean, the others were also, you know more talk for a definitely younger female audience that definitely goes without saying but this one i think even felt that little bit lower than than that really maybe it was just the thing with the na na na's um and the clapping but um otherwise yeah i still did like and enjoy the song in parts okay it's time to sum up so um i really enjoyed this album um i thought it was a really good album um overall um now usually i'm quite critical of albums but yeah this one i can't really complain too much with this one um i think the reasons why i think we've talked before about well first of all let me say i don't think this album had much in the way of um variation now we've talked about this before where if you like a certain if you like a certain type of music and you like, why would you like this? That's kind of it. If that's what they do, that's what they do. So if you're enjoying it, what they do, then that's great. You don't, you don't, you don't really want it. You don't really need variation because they're going to, if they had variation, they'd change, they'd be a completely different style of song that you might not like. So normally that kind of goes against me because a lot of the albums we listen to, I don't particularly like, so you kind of want the variation. So it'd be, there is something a bit different to it. But with this one, because I like the style, I didn't need variation. I was enjoying most of the songs, even though there wasn't too much in the way of change ups. So if that makes sense. So yeah, there wasn't variation or well, not much, but that worked in my favor, if you see what I mean. Um, and I just like this kind of innocent, kind of fun loving style to it. Um, say it kind of took me back to the noughties i did say the early early noughties maybe not necessarily early noughties but just sometime during the noughties so it definitely felt like because this is from as we said 2013 definitely felt it was a bit out of date like it did feel definitely a little bit older than that i'd say but that's a good thing for me because that's that's sort of the period time period of music that i like um so yeah just good upbeat fun songs i can't remember the first album we did of big time rush i know i definitely didn't like it as nearly as much as this one i can't remember what my complaints were with it i think i seem to remember the general kind of was something about it that i thought okay i did like about it like the the general style but what for whatever reason the songs didn't really do it for me but this one definitely did i like the addition of the rappers i know they were only appeared in two songs and they were extremely brief but even that just gives it a little something extra um so yeah it's definite thumbs up from me and um really enjoyed this one yeah great that's great great to hear and it's unusual because i think maybe i might be the one who's a little bit more critical um in this season so overall i said i did enjoy all the songs i enjoyed listening to it um, but for me, and I said it, it kind of identified more when we had sort of um, the couple of guest singers um, appearing, and it kind of realised like a lot of these songs were just missing something. Like I said they're all good, fun, you know, hard to not enjoy them kind of thing, fun, all that kind of thing. Um, and I get what you say, you know, if you like that style and you've, you're known for that style, why would you want to change it? But I don't know. I felt for like a 15-track album to have two or three what I would the term I've ended up using a lot like experimental songs just to change things up a little bit like I'm sure you even agree like you know even if we had like one sort of ballad type of song um it could still be part of them but then but to have the same that same sort of beat um song all the way through yeah it did get a bit prepared to me and just I just needed that little bit and maybe because I'm just that little bit older now and just do things um a little bit differently um, so that's what I felt what was missing from there. And and I don't know, this is probably now me also being a soldier and not being as old, <laughs> being feeling old and stuff. Um, but I feel like 
they were so because it was all quite the same and even like the singing in between I know right, and I said a point about you know there's that one guy who would normally sing on his own a little bit in the middle otherwise I would struggle to really hear the difference with that and maybe I would have done the same with old bands that we used to listen to as well but I don't know I felt like there would have been a bit more sort of differential in terms of being able to hear different singers um in boy bands we may have listened to and stuff like I would never be able to tell the difference of the different ones singing and maybe I couldn't with original bands there but I don't know I felt like you know they're very probably they're, I have seen what they look like you know real American clean cut they all look <laughs> very similar um and I don't know I feel like other boy bands even the classic you know they like Backstreet Boys American clean cut they all looked a bit different and I feel like you could tell the difference in their voices as well and they still did yeah. different style of songs in a good pop album um as well so and when I realized and looked through and research stuff and realized that none of these songs were actually released as a single song it did well as an album um good. in sales but none of them actually released as and that kind of makes sense where cause we didn't have really a real standout song um from there and yes, I just feel like it was missing that sort of couple of maybe like real big pop hits. And then for me, just a couple of, we'll try something a little bit different here, or, you know, a, a slow ballad song here or something a bit different. So overall, like I said, I did enjoy it. Um, like I said, there's one song I particularly did like and would potentially put on a playlist. Um, but I think there was definitely room, for, for me personally, definitely room for improvements. Sounds like you're saying they're like a, a poor man's Backstreet Boys. I, I, or, or, to be honest, or, 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 I wouldn't have too put, much praise. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't put them in the same league as sort of uh, Backstreet Boys, really. To be honest, like I said, they're in that. I think because maybe because it's a totally different generation potentially. Like you can't. I think it's hard to compare different generation boy bands. I, I, if I've given credit for that, there. But you sort of you want direction. You even your Jonas Brothers. Um, and there's probably other similar of those sort of more modern boy bands where I think it's hard. I think they have to be a bit more clean cut potentially but yeah not definitely not in the same league as Battery Boys Westlife uh, another one I think like A1 I think how distinctive like their voices are and stuff there so we could do a whole thing on boy bands I suppose so um, we'll leave it at that there so but yeah it's, it's still an okay album for me but what I liked about it I know it's not a new album it's from 2013 it just felt like a bit of a throwback I mean, even from that time period, it just, yeah, felt like it was going back, I don't know, maybe, yeah, mid, mid uh, noughties. And I just like the kind of, like we talk nowadays how a lot of these pop music is very different nowadays. It's, it's more cool, I don't know, it's, they, some, they don't have that kind of cheesiness to it, whereas this had that in it, it had that kind of just pureness to it, the kind of pop music that we kind of grew up on oh absolutely i don't disagree that. yeah i don't disagree with that at all and definitely like i say one of the tracks i think was really distinctive even like earlier sort of old stuff there so i totally get that um from there but it could still i just have that little bit of differential but yeah i totally get it. it's definitely a, a good sort of throwback to being just good fashion pop music right well that's it from us um I'm going to have a look at the next available Big Time Rush concert dates. <laughs> 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 and In all seriousness, actually, I will probably will add, <laughs> just very quickly on that, I, I know they are actually going to be, I think they're in the UK some point this year. Um, really? Are they popular? Yeah, in the UK? I, I promise you, because obviously with all the uh, algorithm stuff, it, it sort of highlights and brings some stuff up there. So I think they might, I definitely saw something from Birmingham they were going to be um, taking from that I'm there. Not, so I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm not, no. not going to stop doing Birmingham. <laughs> 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 okay, well, I think that, that ends it. Uh, and our album review, if you have any requests, let us know, send them in. See, we do sometimes say positive things. Um, and, well, at least one of us does. <laughs> today anyway <laughs> and, we'll, <laughs> and we'll see you again for the next one soon take care goodbye